if a veteran is 100% permanent total and they decide to come in and file a new claim, a.k.a. poke the bear, would a VA rater go back and look at everything and what are some reasons that the veteran would come in and file a claim if they're 100% permanent total? I'm going to share with you what I used to see as a prior VA rating specialist, so make sure you stick around. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dwayne Kimball, owner and founder of KMD89 VA Claims Consulting, United States Army veteran and retired VA rating specialist. In today's video, I am going to talk about poking the VA bear if you're 100% permanent total and some reasons that I used to see veterans do so. But before we get into today's video, make sure you click the link below, pick up my new book, VA Claims Success, I know it's going to be a game changer for you as you go through the VA claims process. So today's video, poking the bear. <laughs> I've heard that on YouTube. People leave comments in my live stream. They said, Dwayne, I'm 100, I'm 80%, I'm 90%, 100% permanent total. And people say, don't do this. Don't do that. The rate is going to do this. The rate if they never rate it, or they don't know a rater and they ask them questions about rating, no one can tell you what a rater will do or will not do. Okay? Now, one thing is true. The VA regulation applies to everybody. And it's supposed to be followed by all raters, but it not necessarily done so. Okay? Now, what are some reasons that veterans at 100% permanent total will come in and file a new claim. One, they're 100% permanent total, but they have a chronic condition, and they've been fighting to get this chronic condition service connected because they know they're going to pass away and eventually die from this particular chronic condition. And they want to make sure that they're service connected for it so their surviving spouse or family member can get DIC. Now, I'm not going to go into what DIC is, but I'm going to link a video to the end of this video where I talked about how to research the M21 manual reference. You go there, type in DIC, and it gives you a lot of information, the qualifications, time frame, all that good stuff. Okay? Now, the second one. Some veterans, they just want this condition to be recognized by the VA. And I've seen them say, hey, I serve my country, I serve my country honorably, and I want the VA to recognize my injuries for doing so. Now, it's nothing wrong with that, okay? But I will tell you this. When you go in, and just like any other claim, be educated. Know what you're doing with your claim, but also know what VA regulations that can impact that, okay? That's very important. Now... <laughs> If you come in and you're 100% permanent total, will that VA rater go back and look at everything? Now, before I get into that, I want to share something with you. I know y'all probably saw this. This is my VA claims folder. People tease me. It's two volumes. They say, Dwayne, that thing is huge. Now, this is what we used to look at years ago. Paper files, but everything is electronic, okay? This is not a lot. I've rated cases where... It was, like I said, this is two volumes. I rated cases that were upwards to eight, nine, ten volumes, okay? A lot of people, they just go out, print out all their stuff, send it to the VA. Oh, they got to go through it. Keep in mind, those VA employees are on a quota. And now you just gave them a mountain of evidence to look through a needle in a haystack. But... If, you file, if you're 100% permanent total and you file that new claim, our rater is going to go back and look at everything. Now, there is a chance, I would say maybe a 1% chance, and I've talked about this in some of my live trainings and in some of my other videos and gave some examples of when I had to go back. I didn't go all the way back, but there's a huge misconception that 
hey, I'm an unrecent permanent total. I file a new claim. They're going to go back and look at everything. That's what veterans have been telling me. I'm an unrecent permanent total. Somebody said, somebody said, somebody said that they said, I'll link that video I did at the end of this video. They said it gets veterans in a lot of trouble, okay? If you never raided before, understand the process. Not every raider is going to go back and look at every single thing if you file something new. So let's just say you're 100% permanent total. You never filed a claim for tinnitus. When I got that claim, I look at the DD-214 to see the MOS. I look through the medical records to see if the veteran was treated for it. If there's any private evidence, submit it for a CMP exam. CMP exam comes back, positive opinion. I grant the tinnitus. I move on to the next vet. I'd have to go back and look at everything. Okay? There was no need. Now, there could be some outliers out there that would cause you to have to go back and look. But 99.9% .9 of the time, Raiders are not doing that, okay? So don't let somebody fool you or, or scare you. But again, if you file that claim, regardless of what percentage you're at, know what you're doing, okay? Now, last but not least, you're 100% permanent total. You file a new claim, whether it be an increase, something under the PACT Act, presumptive, or whatever, okay? And you get a call to report for an exam. Know what exams you're showing up for. I've seen veterans going for an exam. That exam come back. It's been that percentage for that particular condition has been in effect less than five years, and it shows improvement. I get the claim, look at it. Guess what? The veteran what it wasn't even requesting or claiming anything that had pertained to that CMP exam that was requested. The VA employee requested the incorrect exam. Whether you're 100% permanent total or not, and you come in for a claim, know what exams you're showing up for. There's nothing wrong with asking that third-party contractor, hey, uh, you're telling me I got to show up for an exam. What exam am I showing up for? Oh, we got you showing up for increasing your PTSD or mental condition or right knee Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I claim. And you should already know if you have any routine future exams. I have a video on my channel that explains that as well. So if you're educated on the process and you're educated on what you've done and what you want to do with your VA claim, you shouldn't have any problems, okay? Ask questions, get educated, but the answer the big elephant in the room, will Raiders go back and look at everything if you're 100% permanent total and try to reduce you or something like that? The answer is 99.9% .9 no. But don't forget, there are some outliers out there where that could happen depending on what you're doing. So consult someone that knows the process so you don't get caught up in a bunch of red tape. So with that being said, Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification button, and don't forget to share this video with your fellow veterans. Thank you.